Mm-hmm. Alice, thank you so much. It is just, it's a joy to speak with you. I really do appreciate the oh, opportunity. Thank you. Happy uh, to do it. Thank you. I, I, the, the, the Transylvania franchise uh, has been prominent in our home anyway for the last decade. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, it, it's actually interesting. Like my, my oldest is 11. So we've sort of grown, he's sort of grown up with the films at this point. And uh, so there, it's sort of a special family, family thing for us. And um, so I'm, and, and you're new to the franchise. So I was wondering what excited you yeah. to be a part of this world? Well, I just, I love these movies so much. And I love the whole notion that it's about this wacky extended family that, uh, you know, has all different kinds of people and yet they just work together so well. And each movie seems to bring in more characters, you know, with Erica joining and Ben Helsing and well, even Johnny in, in the second one. So it's been really fun for us to have to juggle that whole ensemble as we went through the picture because you can't leave any of them behind. They're all so great. That's, that's true. It must be hard to balance that many great characters as, the, as it continues to build. It's true. We, in fact, when we first were writing it, the idea was more of a buddy comedy with mm. Drac and Johnny on the road. And um, we left the rest of them back at the hotel, but we had to rework the whole thing because we missed them so much. So they came in the blimp and joined everybody in South America. And then, of course, Erica having monster hunting skills and equipment worked out to be uh, a big advantage for us. Yeah, uh, Van Helsing is a lot nicer in this one than he is in, pre- in the previous. Yeah. The whole family's come he, together. Yeah, he's the crazy old uncle in the basement now. and not nearly as villainous that's for sure and of course jim brings such warmth to that character anyway yes he does yes he does um what is it about uh, animation in general that because i mean you've got quite a career in animation what is it that that keeps bringing you back that you find so appealing you know i just really like working with creative people Hmm. and trying to find a way to support them and and create a a new narrative that's going to be compelling to audiences I, I started off as a school teacher, and uh, so I, I'm used to working with big groups of people and trying to find uh, commonality and trying to inspire. And I used a lot of those skills as I've gone through my career, um, trying to empower everybody in the room to bring their best game every day. And that's really the job of a producer, I think. And when Sony gave me these two directors, the first woman, finally, I get a woman. Uh, Jen Kluska and Derek Dryman, who are both great storytellers and hysterical humans. Mm. Uh, it was just a joy to work with them. And then Gendy Tartakovsky, you know, goes without saying, is a very funny guy. And, you know, he would be involved with the writer's room and, you know, all the notes that we had as we went through the script process. And, um, and I just love his sensibility. You know, I came up with 2D animation and this is 3D, of course, but it's sort of approached almost like 2D in terms of very cartoony styling. Yeah, I, I love that. That you know, when you know other animation studios, when they try, they go for such a photorealism, but this this lets itself almost feels like almost a Chuck Jones style of you know wacky wacky 2D. I, I love that. Um, yeah, Gendy really has that Warner Brothers sensibility at his heart. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, what do you think it is about these characters? I mean, I know that they're they're silly and and I mean these are some well known characters, you know. But what is it about uh, Drac and and Johnny that that are so endearing to others? <laughs> I think they're they're very um, authentic. You know, there's there's not a lot of artifice to them. Who they are is right out there all the time. And you get them very quickly. And we all know people like these folks, you know, and and they're quirky and they're different. And yet they all love each other. And I think, you know, all of us have gone through this pandemic, not having our communities, not mm-hmm. having our extended family. And so seeing that, I think, has been kind of fun for people to kind of enjoy that celebration of each other. Yes. Yeah. Even absolutely. with all the differences. Right. Even with all the differences. Uh, absolutely and you know you talk about the differences there much of the series has been about you know seeing beyond you know other the external seeing beyond seeing them for people for right. more. but but this film literally puts people in the others well i would say shoes but not necessarily the case here absolutely right 
Uh, mm -hmm. I was wondering how you think that changes the way these characters understand each other. Well, you know, of course, for Johnny, becoming a monster is a win, win, win. You know, he, the mosquitoes don't bother him. He's stronger. <laughs> he's taller. He's strong. You know, he can fly. He discovers one by one all these new attributes he has. And he just thinks it's fantastic. Yeah. Whereas for Drac, I think he feels quite differently. You know, everything bothers him. His feet bother him. His back bothers him. He can't fly. The sun hurts his eyes, even though he can get out in it. And I think ultimately, though, what Johnny teaches him is how wonderful it is to be human, even though we have all these foils and all these, you know, ways that we can be harmed. Our life is precious when it's going great. We appreciate it because our life is defined. And for Drac, he can just keep going and going if he's immortal. But he learns from Johnny to stop and enjoy things and enjoy Johnny himself. He says to Johnny, uh, Everything good in my life comes from you. And so even if the marshmallow is burned on the outside, you can open it up and have the ooey gooey center and enjoy that. So I really think that's a, the most important lesson we can all learn is just to slow down and enjoy the good things in life. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I will say it was frightening how much I related to Drac in this film. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I, I feel you, Drac. Um, <laughs> one thing I thought I loved about this story too, um, it sort of takes his relation or Drac and Johnny, their relationship to the, the next level with the hotel and, and, and trust is a key, a key word. Uh, I was wondering what it is that you think it, it takes to be able to truly trust one another. Well, the truth for one thing, I mean, mm -hmm. at the very outset, Drac comes up with that huge lie that you have to be a monster to own the hotel, which propels the entire rest of the plot. You know, so Johnny doesn't want Mavis to be disappointed. And so he finds a way to become a monster thinking that solves everything. And of course that propels the rest of the movie to South America and Drac mistakenly turns into a human himself and uh, you know, chaos ensues. And all that came from that lie. So the way that we can really trust each other is be honest and authentic. Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, I, for sure. I mean, I, I know we're we're running out of time here, Alice, but I mean, I, I've, I've read the, the notes and it says this is the, it's, is this really the end? Or, you know? <laughs> well, we certainly approached the movie as if it could be because we wanted to do honor to the, the franchise. And we want it to be um, satisfying to those who would come and see a fourth because a fourth is hard to, to pull off and very yeah. few movies get that, that opportunity. And we wanted that familiarity and yet something completely fresh. Um, could we come up with another idea for a fifth? I bet we could. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. That would be great. I hope, I hope it happens. I know. I know. Um, now, okay. Maybe you can fill me into it just as we wrap up here. Um, the film, the release, the release of the film, how the film's coming out, is it going to be in theaters? Is it strictly on? No, on Prime? it's on no. Amazon. It's streaming. Okay, wonderful. So ultimately, I think we'll, we'll probably reach more households than we might have in the theaters, you know, and even internationally, I'm really impressed with Amazon and how they promoted the movie. Excellent. Wonderful. And you're right. I mean, there, there'll be far more. It makes it so accessible. So thank you so much. I uh, I really appreciate the chance to to speak with you, and and I really do wish you the best with the with the film in the future. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Thank you, Alice.